<laughs> hello, sweetheart. Where are all these people? Come say hello. 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 I'm Stella Morris. I am Julian Assange's partner. I met him in 2011. We got together in 2015. And we have two children, Max and Gabriel. I had received an email from Jennifer Robinson, who put out a request through her Oxford network that her, the case that she was involved in, which involved Julian Assange, needed more people. Our first meeting was in Paddington at the Frontline Club. And I talked about my background, the fact that I was a fluent Swedish speaker, the fact that I had studied law, and started working with Baltasar Garson, um, who was the international coordinator of of Julian's international legal team. I had been in the embassy uh, almost every single day and got to know Julian very well. And in 2015, we got together. You started a relationship? Yeah, I mean, we fell in love and I, you know, I. this is a person that I've I knew well by then, the person I know the most in this world, and he's extraordinary. He's generous and he's very tender and loving. On the computer, yeah? On my phone. On your phone? Yes. Yeah, you like to watch that. On my cameras. On your cameras? Yes. <laughs> This is the younger one, Max, with the cat. And uh, yeah, that's a little one. There's a big little one. That's a big one, kind of a same, same picture. They're quite similar looking when you look at them like that. And uh, the big one has the the older one has is actually very much like Julian. He looks a lot like Julian, the, especially around the eyes, the kind of the um, eyebrows and the, the gaze is very much Julian's. The little one looks more like me, and he has Julian's ears and Julian's size because he's very big, um, and he looks like his brother. But of the two of them, the older one is very Julian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen him in in prison, and it's, uh, I'm struggling to think of how to explain it, why he's there, and so on. You also don't want to you know you you want them to feel a positive feeling about going there as well so kind of it's a bit of a charade and they're very happy children I knew there was some spying going on um, when I found out that that my baby was targeted is a guard actually went up to me and told me that they were trying to steal the DNA um, I realized that I couldn't really protect my family I understood that the powers that were um, against Julian were ruthless and had no there were no bounds to it and that's partly why I feel now that I have to 
I have to do this because I've taken so many steps for so many years and I feel like Julian's life might be coming to an end. It's been 10 years, nine years, no, 10 years of breaking someone down, of trying to destroy his life. And it's a well-known pattern, you know, whistleblowers, people who expose the powerful. They destroy them. And we know this when this happens. And somehow everyone has failed Julian. They've all failed Julian. They've taken every negative angle they have been able to. You can do that to anyone. You can destroy anyone like that. You just need to start overanalyzing them. <coughs> Sweetie.